This is what happened next when a starving asylum seeker stole a sandwich from Sainsbury's. I feel like, I feel, I felt dying. I was dying, I couldn't breathe. If I didn't bite him, I, th I think I will be in, in cemetery or somewhere. Amin was pinned down by five people, including a security guard, who appears to place his hands firmly around his neck. He said he stole the sandwich because he was starving and that he bit the guard in self-defence because he couldn't breathe. He was later convicted of theft and assault. The prosecution said Amin became aggressive, pushed the security guard and threatened him. The guard said he feared he was going to be assaulted by him. Seven months later, Amin says he is still traumatised by the incident. Sometimes I am I'm dreaming and it's so bad and I, am, I wake up and I can't, I can't sleep again. We showed him the CCTV footage from Sainsbury's. He, he asked, asked me, why you take the food? I said to him, I don't have money, I don't have anything, what I cannot do. The footage shows Amin return the food before he was restrained. Again and again I said to him, please take me private room. I said to him, if you don't want to let me here, so let me go. And he slapped me on the floor. You can't see his his hands in my neck. When the police arrived, he was arrested and taken away. They didn't do anything, just let him in there and take me like I am the animal and this is the person. Make me feel very, very stressed for me. It's like I am nothing in this world, just living. We contacted Sainsbury's about the incident. A spokeswoman said, Where there are reasonable grounds to suspect that someone has taken goods without paying, in-store security have a statutory right to stop that person. In this case, the offender was prosecuted and found guilty of assault and theft. All the security officers working in our stores are trained and licensed in line with the industry authority standards. We showed the footage to Vaughan Jones, CEO of Praxis, a charity that supports vulnerable migrants. Obviously, if people have no right to work and have insufficient income, then they will not have enough money to pay for food. There's a real danger that people are put into a very simple box, the box marked delinquent. The state ought to be able, through the criminal justice system, to provide the sensitivity that is needed to somebody in such a circumstance. Increasingly, the state is actually bypassing that duty and that responsibility. Amin is planning to appeal his conviction. I just need justice and uh, my name gonna be clear and have and, and go study again and forget about my life, about what happened in the past. Because if I am thinking about what happened in the past, never I'm going to, to build something on my life. It's, it's gonna be very hard for me.